Hi, my name is Christian Key, and welcome back to Celebrating Every Day of 2020 with me. Today, November 1st, 2020, is Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos has its origins in Aztec traditions of honoring their deceased. In Mexico, festivities last from the 31st to the 2nd, sometimes even the 3rd or 4th, at the time of year when the veil is the thinnest, so that their loved ones can come back and celebrate with them. It's a beautiful time to honor the circle of life, and if you would like to invite your loved ones to come and celebrate with you, you need to make them an ofrenda. There are a few key pieces to each ofrenda which welcomes your dearly departed back to you. First and foremost, flowers, specifically marigolds, roses, and sunflowers, which are the flowers of the dead. You sprinkle just a few of them from the entrance to the ofrenda to show them the beacon back home. Their beauty and their fragility represents the fragility of life, and their fragrance lures them back to you, along with the candles. They are like shining beacons to your loved ones, showing them the way. Another important part of each ofrenda is pictures of your dearly departed to honor the life that they led and the love that you have for them. Also, personal items such as this book or a little Cadillac Monte, I don't know where, which side is on that I have, um, some letters from them. Just key pieces that shows your bond between them so that it can light their way. <laughs> I keep saying that, but really it's all about leading them back home to you. Along with the arch, which is representative of the pathway between this life and the next. Well, it's also a long journey, so you need to have a few refreshments for them, such as their favorite food and drinks, so that they can dine and feast with you during this beautiful time of year. And lastly, monarch butterflies, which migrate to Mexico every year just like they believed the spirits of their loved ones migrate back to them. So, who do you have in your life that you miss dearly? Will you make them an ofrenda so that they can celebrate this beautiful time of year with you? And lastly, what do you have to celebrate today? Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a peaceful Dia de los Muertos.